All right, guys. Hi, it's Jim Bounds at Marome Rehab Ranch again, and this is page two <coughs> of Dash AC Blower uh, Electrical Circuit. Okay. If you've come into page two and you haven't been to page one, my strong suggestion is to go back and find page one, okay? Watch that. It's about 15 minutes, and then come back into here because I'm going to pick up where that left off. All right. <coughs> From page one, we have the uh, the blower relay output of purple wire replaced eight gauge wire to here and an eight gauge ground. All right. Now, on the other two wires that are on that three wire connector, the red with a white wire is constant power all the time. So, if you want to check that before we start. Fire your, your coach up and read voltage on that red with white wire. It should be full voltage. This wire is tagged directly off uh, of the alternator. And it will give you full current when the engine is running. But when the engine is off, there's no voltage there at all. So why do they do that? Well... <laughs> As you know, in the summer, you're going to leave the air conditioner on. I suggest <coughs> to turn it off when you fire it up because it'll help the uh, engine start better. But needless to say, people will leave it on, okay? Well, when you, when you leave on the dash AC blower, okay, that blower motor could pull 30 amps, okay? It could pull 30 amps. And say you got the key on, but the engine's not on, and you have the dash AC on, you could blow, you could flatten your battery in 30 minutes. And if you didn't realize that, that would be a problem. Okay. So what GM did to make sure that dummies don't do that, okay, if you turn your key on and you put the dash AC in full high, blower's not on. You turn it down a notch or two, blower's working. What's going on here? The idea is, when it's in full high mode, it's drawing too much current to just be off the battery and you can kill the battery. So what GM did is all of the other speeds, the low, low to medium, and all that kind of stuff, they come off of this blue wire right here. Okay, but when the dash AC blower is selected on high, only on high, this relay supplies the power directly from the red with the white wire, which is directly off the alternator, which is the highest current available. You follow? That's what this relay does. <clears throat> the primary side. Primary side means that's the control side, the small control side. You've got a black wire, which is ground. you got an orange wire here, and that goes directly to the dash AC blower switch. When you select high, you're selecting orange. Okay? Click. It ties together. But it will not work because it the power that it would pull off of is only on when the engine's on, directly off the alternator. So the, the dash AC will not be on. The blower will not be on until you fire it up, it spools up, the alternator supplies power, and boom, now you got it. Make sense? <clears throat> and that's control, which is always on, on. The orange wire is hot, the relay kicks on, will not have it see any power here and will not turn on. But if you select all the other speeds, it will. Where does it get power? This blue wire over here, this other wire over here, on the three wire connector, goes into the harness and goes all the way over to the other side of the dash AC blower box. Okay. In other words, lift up the passenger hood, and on the left side of that big box, you will see a four-wire connector coming down and, and going into the side of the box. I don't have a picture of it. 
But it, matter of fact, you know, it would, might not be a bad idea to, uh, to pause this and to carry your phone out next to your coach because then you can see everything that I'm talking about. You'll be right there. So if you'd like to do that, I, I invite you to do that. If not, I'll, I'll do my best to explain what this is, and you will see it. Lift up your, dri your driver front hood, look at the left side of the, the black box about halfway down, and you will see the connector. It's got two 5 16 hex screws holding it, and it's a connector. Now, what happens is all the other speeds are on those wires going into the heater box. And that, those two screws hold a resistor network. In other words, uh, uh, super low, low, medium, and all that stuff. It goes through a resistor. Each time you hit that, that mark, it goes different speeds. Well, there's a wire-wound resistor inside the box that as the dash AC blower is running, right, it keeps those little resistors cool because they'll heat up. Remember, a resistor uh, is resisting a uh, flow of current, so it, it gets hot. So each one of those resistors will get hot, but as long as the dash AC blower is running, right, they won't burn up. Now, if the dash AC blower is not running, those resistors will heat up. And damage is they don't work. So my suggestion is take those two hex screws out, unplug the connector, take those out, and look at the resistors. You'll see them. See what they look like. See if one of them's burnt or open or something like that. That means that's bad. Now, that resistor divider is called a divider network. It is available. You can look around. Different, uh, different GMC uh, dealers may have them. But also, it's on every car of the 70s. Okay. So go snooping around a junkyard or whatever. Or go online and see if they have uh, replacement uh, 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 resistor networks for you know, uh, GM-AC blower. All right. Coming out of that device that has all the different speeds is the blue wire. Remember this blue wire we talked about right here? It comes out of that divider network on the, on the right-hand side of that box, goes round back, and shows up right here. What that's doing is all those speeds through the divider network over there, there'll be different voltages going here. And when this, re when this uh, uh, relay is off, in other words, this orange wire is not energized, it's sitting there at off. In off position, the blower motor sees this blue wire. Because in off position, it's connected right here. Okay? So in the off position, the speeds work. It comes over here to the blue wire, goes in here, out of here, and there's different speeds. Then when you hit it on high, orange wire kicks, boom, pulls full current, full voltage, good current from the red and white wire, and feeds the blower motor. That's what this thing is for. And that's what makes it the <clears throat> main uh, device uh, in what we're doing. All right. My suggestion is to get a new uh, blower uh, relay because they do burn out. The little contacts in there, it's got a lot of current. That blower motor can pull a lot of current. And I would, uh, I would certainly get a, uh, a, new, uh, a new blower uh, relay. I would also, <clears throat> the blower motors are also available if you search around a little bit. Uh, give me a call, I can give you part numbers. I don't have my database here. But the blower motor is also available. And of course, uh, motors over years, the brushes start to, to wear and, and corrode and all this stuff. So uh, you're probably pulling more current out of that blower motor than, uh, than you, uh, you originally did. So my suggestion is to get a new one. Okay, it, I mean, they are available. And uh, I, would, I would get a new blower motor and a blue, new blower relay because those are the two main components in this, in this circuit. All right. Real quick, we want to have more current to this blower motor, and we've we've accomplished that. We've accomplished that by putting a uh, good ground and good hot wire going to the blower relay. We've also assured we have good current through the relay by replacing the relay. 
you're going to have single uh, uh, spade female connectors on each one of these new wires. You're going to cut that original connector off and put single spades on it. The blue wire will go to this one, the red and the white here, and uh, the purple here. Now, uh, another another update that you may want to suggest that I, I would suggest to do. This red with a white wire here, where it uh, only only supplies power when the uh, when the alternator is on. Okay. If you would like to make the circuit a little bit more robust, remember this. This is a small gauge wire. Okay. Remember, it can be pulling. It, it will pull 30 amps because that's what it's designed to do. It only operates <clears throat> when that blower is in high mode. The more current you can put to this relay, the better. All right. Now, my suggestion: this red and white wire, cut it off and cap it. We're not going to use it. Okay. Come off of here with an with an eight gauge fuse holder and put a 30 amp fuse on it and run it directly to your vehicle battery positive. Run it directly to here. Take it off and run it directly to your vehicle battery positive. That's going to give it more current because that, that uh, power doesn't have to go through that small gauge wire uh, through the harness uh, to get to the, the blower relay. It can go directly from the vehicle battery positive through a fuse, all circuits are fused, directly to this blower relay. More current, and that's what we want. Now, one thing it'll do though, <laughs> when you flip it on high, that blower motor will be on because it is not going directly from the alternator. It will now be coming from the vehicle battery positive, right? So you don't want to leave, you don't want to leave the dash AC on anyway. Whenever you turn off the vehicle, you should turn off the dash AC. The slide bar that goes uh, horizontal, flip it to off. Blower will go off, everything will go off. Everything will be great. <clears throat> turn the blower switch all the way down. Everything will be great. Now, remember we said before, if you want to turn off that, that blower, Okay. Over on the driver side of the heater box, when you lifted the driver side, remember that connector that I told you about that has the resistor divider network in it? Okay. Pull the connector off, and the closest fitting to you, the closest male fitting uh, uh, connector that's coming out of that, you got the connector in your hand, you pull it off, and you've got four, maybe five. Uh, 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 male spade sticking out. Take the one closest to you and bend it forward where it won't go, where when you plug it back in, it will not go into the connector. You follow? Bend it forward and plug it back in. What will happen there is when you flip it all the way to down, down will be off. So you're not going to have that blower motor running because, you know, say you turn the key on and you're working on the engine, the blower motor's on all the time. And it's pulling probably five, six amps to do it. So taking that pin off allows the, the blower switch to see off when it's all the way down. And then uh, uh, you won't have that blower motor running. But remember, if you leave it on air conditioner, if you're lazy and you leave the, the slide bar on air conditioner and you flip the blower all the way down, you will load up your evaporator and you'll freeze it up. Okay? This is running about, about 15 minutes, so it looks like we're going to have two pages on this, uh, on this uh, discussion on this uh, Dash AC blower motor. Now, if you really, really want it to work well, you're going to take all that stuff out and throw it away because that, that uh, uh, Dash heater box... There's like 14 90 degree bends in the blower, in the ducting system. It's the reason you don't get much air out of it because there's just so much restriction in a blower system. If you want your dash AC system to work better, certainly uh, 73 through 76, I would take it out. There's several manufacturers, uh, uh, old air products, 
uh, 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 Nostalgic Air, uh, several several uh, aftermarket companies that can make that will that have in dash. Uh, full air conditioner modules that you can take out what's in there and put this in. The one that we used at Co-op was uh, old air products. It was called the Hurricane. Hooked right into the vent system, right into the uh, duct system for the uh, defroster. But it, all the rest of the vents you take out and you put in. Eat the the new air conditioner has four pipes coming out and you go to four vents. You get rid of all the transgressions of all that stuff in the dash. If you truly want it to work, that's what I would tell you to do. And if you're going in that direction, I believe that there are some videos that are entry level on that. Uh, now, our videos are to introduce you to ideas. If you want to go further, ah, that's what you call me for. All right? You can't be an island out there. You can't just watch. Now, some videos you can. And I know the world is set now where you can watch a video on YouTube and go fix it. Cool. You might be able to do that with mine also. But I also put the ingredient of giving me a call to go further and to ask more questions. All right? Now, sometimes I'll make a video that answers some good, normal questions. But there's nothing like giving somebody a call and getting them in your loop. And that's what, that's what, uh, that's what Motorhome Rehab Ranch does. So if you're going to uh, refinish or redo your dash AC, your dash AC blower, and you want the original one to work, <clears throat> the, these are the considerations to deal with. Uh, if you want it to be better, rip it all out, throw it away. <laughs> Good. Well, I hope this was uh, helpful to you. I thought I hope you uh, learned a few things there. If you've got comments, things I need to add, maybe we'll do a page three on this. Uh, please uh, contact me, reach out, comment, call me, text me. Uh, uh, let's see if there's some other things that we want to talk about in this. Now, there have been, <clears throat> just to spike the gun a little bit, there have been modifications over the years to reduct the air to the original box to try to make it work better and all this. Honestly, all of that stuff, uh, if you look at the amount of time and energy you put in it, if you put that time and energy in a new system, I think you would be better served. I think you would uh, have a better end product. And this, this original Dash AC system does not work well. Even 77, 78, eh, they were adequate, but you can actually double, easily double a 77 or 78 dash AC blower system, AC heat system, by changing it all out to a new system. All right? So give me a call if you have other questions, and if you do want to go all the way, sure. Give me a call, look at other videos that we've got up, uh, Old Air Products, go check out their website, and uh, call me up, and let's see what we can do. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.